Hello, welcome to Ekidel. My name is Justice Mwaka. I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning how to design a combined footing using Prota Structure software. Now, looking at this building right now, this is a two-story building having a two floors. And looking at it right now, you can see that the kind of foundation we are using is a pad foundation, or you can just say an isolated footing. Now, we will be designing uh, a combined footing for this building so for by the end of this lesson you will be able to design or know how to design a combined footing using Prota structure okay so right now we will go to our um, model view which is the plan view and then we click on story 00 now looking at this now you can see that we have already designed for a single um, footing which you can see it here we have already designed for a single footing which our footing depth um, is 300 millimeter and um, but for this lesson we will be designing for a combined footing the reason why we chose to design a combined footing is because if we if we design these two columns as a single footing there will be and there will be an overlapping between the two footings okay so begin your combined footing what you will do right now is to select the the select the two footings or all the numbers footings that you want to combine footings what you now do is to right click and say combine selected columns then you click on that option and then click on yes then right now what you do right now is to now right click again and click on and select insert part base now you now have now input your um, footing depth which in this case we are using 300 millimeter and then you input your bearing capacity in this case we have 150 kilo meter, and then you choose your um, steel size reinforcement for both direction and then you click on update. Now, if you have not um, subscribed to this channel, I would say if you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss um, a coming video on how to design other kind of foundation like pipe foundation, rat foundation, and white slip foundation. Okay, so right now, what we're going to do is to click on square footing. Now, once we click on square footing right now, you can see that our footing size for this combined footing or combined base is 1. 1800 millimeter by 1800 millimeter left and right okay so right now again if that's the next thing you do is to check is to check for your punching check this punching check here must be okay there must not be any failure and also on this shear the uh, on this shear failure here on the x direction and the y direction these three okays must be here and these three okays must be here so with this okay that you see here as long as you're not seeing any failure that means your part foundation design is perfectly okay then also you have to also check for this spacing this spacing must not be below 100 millimeter as the reinforcement spacing so now that we have up to um, 250 millimeter from as as our spacing for the reinforcement it is perfectly okay so with this now i will not click on okay so if you uh then next thing again i will not click on okay so you cannot see that these two footings they are not combined footing so if you check on our 3d view right now to see what we have just done you can see that we have successfully um inserted our first combined footing as you can see there okay so next thing again now we will not have to go and do the same procedure for all of them now if you uh, don't know how to um if you don't know how to design for a single footing, I would say you should just check on the link below because we have already done this video before. Check on the link below. That's why I said if you have not yet subscribed, you should subscribe to the channel Ekidel so that you don't miss our coming videos on how to design all that kind of foundation and also so that you will be updated when we all, when we post videos on how to use total structure to design concrete structures and also steel steel structures. Okay, so now we move on to the next again right now. So to design for this combined footing for this one, we have to now highlight these two um, columns so that they can be select, select, selected then now we will now right click and say combine footing and then we'll click on yes and then we now click on this column that we have just combined and then right click on it and then select insert part base now then what we'll do right now since we have already um since, since we have already designed for one combined footing automatically as default all all, all the parameters that you use here will Will be there as default except you want to change the the footing size for this one but our advice you should not change except in in the case that this footing size is not sufficient to carry the load on this area but let us um try it first to design to check if it is sufficient so click on calculate 
and then you first of all and click on square footing now you can see that the size of um, this footing is 2055 by 2055 millimeter and then we check also on our punching check with they are all straight okay we check again on our um, x direction share share they are all straight okay and also y direction share check they are all straight okay but this size of footing is very big for me so i know what is causing this issue right now is because of the moments you can see that we have a higher moment on this y direction there is a higher moment and normally we know that uh, we know that when we are sizing our footing what we only use is axial load so this software product is trying to use this is trying to use this high moment to size our footing which is not okay when you are doing your manual design so what about now we will go and remove this moment and use only the axial load to size this footing for us so we will now go and click on okay and click on this place use manual defined load so we will click on the place and now remove this moment and remove this moment and use only the axial load to design for um, to, to to size for this footing so we will now click on this place calculate and then click on square footing so you can now see that the size of this of this um, footing base for this combined footing has been reduced to 1500 by 1500 now if we want to make it uniform to what we have before as 1800 for the other one we can also um, make it uniform here by just um, increasing this size and increasing this size have a uniform um, um, combined footing okay so you now check also on this punching check this is very important you must have to check for this punching check else if you see any kind of failure on this punching check what you just do is to just um say okay then go back here and increase your size of your and increase your footing depth now once you increase your footing depth you now click on calculate again you will now be shown this dialog box you click on this square footing and then you check again on your punching check if the failure is still there, you go again and, and increase to and to a higher value of um, footing depth until this place becomes okay. Although there is a high maximum um, depth of footing that you are allowed to use, and if it if it is not sufficient, that we now want to not change the kind of foundation for the structure either for a, either to use a slip foundation or to use a rough foundation. But for this case, this is okay because you can see that everything here is okay and this is also okay and this is also okay. Okay, so you now click on okay and then click on okay. Okay, so right now again, right now, we will also do the same thing for this one. So just a very quick one. I'll just make it quick right now so that we will not waste much time. So click on combine and then right click and click on insert part base and then just click now click. Once you change this after you have finished, um, um, using a manual defined load, you must have to um, pick this place if you want to design for the next one. You must try all, all columns combination load so that you can pick the, you can choose the highest load for for the design of this combined footing. So we will now click on calculate and then click on square footing. The same thing happens here. It has a very high moment, so we click on OK to remove the moment right now and click on this user manual defined load and remove this moment and make it zero make it zero and make this one zero to use only the axial load to size the footing so click on calculate and then we click on square just to make it a just to make it a uniform um footing of 1 point by 1.8 so we have to increase this or if not the 1.5 that it designed for was okay but we want to have a uniform footing so just increase 1.8 and then check on this pointing check you must have to check this else you will, you might have issue on your foundation which will lead to collapse so this place must be okay and this place must be okay and this one will be okay and also for this share on the x direction the share at the face of the column must be okay and the share at the face the share at distance d from column must also be okay and also on the y direction the same thing you must have an okay okay and okay and the spacing of the reinforcement must not be below 100 millimeter else you will have issue on your on, on your on your foundation designs so you now click on okay and then okay because in this case everything is okay so that's why i'm saying okay okay i go again now to do the same thing for here to combine this footing right now i I select the two footing by click and then say combine now say yes and then right click again and then say um, insert part base now i have to now click first on this try or combination to choose the highest maximum number of load to, to now design for the footing so i click on calculate and then i click on square footing now you can see what we have right now in square footing you can see what we are having we are having a one meter by 1.4 uh, five five millimeter so we will just say um, increase this increase this and then i want to increase to 1.8 by 1.8 to have a uniform uh, base 
1.8 by 1.8 let me change this to um 50 and then go back again okay let me just do this um remove this and make it five and then just play this i want to have um, a value which, is, which will be okay for me i want to have a value let me put one okay so i just reduce 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 okay now i have, now I have 1.8 by 1.8 so you can just see how, how how i played with this just to get what i want but the main thing is to check for this point in check if what we if the size and the and the footing depth which we use 300 millimeter and the footing depth is okay so this point is okay for the point in check if the point is okay this point is okay and this is okay so with this now i can click on okay and also check for your spacing this spacing must not be below 100 millimeter but on this case we have 250 as our as our spacing for the reinforcement of the pad foundation so click on ok and then click on ok now again right now so we have done so we done for this if you check this now on the 3d view you can see what we have just achieved right now you can see what we have achieved just now okay so if you have not still subscribed to this channel i will say what are you waiting for go on subscribe to the channel because we will do more videos on um, how to use a uh, product structure to design more concrete uh, um more, more concrete um structures just as um covered box covered and um a many other kind of okay so right now again we will also want to um, design for this so we have to select this right now right click and then say combine and say yes and then right click again and say insert part base and then we go again right now and say calculate and then click on square and then just make this to um increase this first to one point close one point eight then make this to be one reduce this a bit because we want to have a uniform um combined footing of one by one point eight so i just decrease this uh, sometimes this software tries to misbehave but since you are a structural engineer which you already know how to um design perfectly manually and also you have used most other software so this will not be to check my punching check you can see it right here i check for the shear um, design at face of column and also on the y direction and x direction and then check for my spacing which is okay you see how um, how um, i am how i am emphasizing on this punching check and on this shear and on this spacing because this is the main thing that will either make your structure to stand or, or to collapse in terms of foundation failure so this place must be okay this must be okay and this must be okay and this place must must be above must be more than 100 millimeter on this spacing so i click on okay and then click on okay okay now we go again to the next right now to, to combine for this select this to right click and say combine and then click on this and then right click again and say insert part base and then click on calculates then click on square footing and then make it a uniform this gave us 1.7 by 1.7 but want a uniform spacing of um, 1.8 by 1.8 so i'll just uh, make it a uniform spacing and then check for my punching check check for the share check and check for the shutter on, on the y direction and also check for uh, my spacing if it is if the value of the spacing is above 100 millimeter and i'll say okay and then i'll say okay okay right now again i move to the next again we are almost done for this I click again let these two columns right click and say insert part base and then click on ok and then i'll go again right now to right click and say insert part base and then i click on calculate and then click on square footing and i'll just well i want to make this 1.1.8 so i'll have to just um make this 75 and reduce this let me see okay make this uh, let me say five and just try to reduce if it's okay then make let me make it one because i want to have 1.1.8 so I'll, i must make sure i want i i and then reduce let me put 10 and see okay let me just play with it a bit i want 1.8 by 1.8 800 and then see let me put here one and then put here 1800 and then 1800 okay if this is not working if it is not accepting then we'll just make it um, the 1.7 that we have before then i'll go back and click on calculate and then square this footing okay i'll just accept this maybe during my detailing i will have to use 1.1.8 because 1.1.8 is, is, is already okay so we also check this again this one will be okay and this one will be okay and this one will be okay and this will be above 100 millimeters before you now say the foundation is okay so we click on this final okay then again we go again to um select this right click and say combine footing say yes right click and say insert part base and then again we click on calculate and then we again we click on square and then we have let me check if this can reduce if i put one and just try to reduce this 
value okay this is working this one is okay so okay so at this point it ends at 16 by 1862 okay and like i said before during the when we'll be doing the foundation detailing using our autocad when we have exported this detail right to um Right to the next software AutoCAD, then we cannot do a proper detail of 1.8 by 1.8 because that size is already okay. So we will now click on um, OK and click on OK and click on uh, OK. Then again, we insert for this right click. So we select it to right click and then say combine footing and then we say yes. And then right click again and say part insert part base and then calculate. And then we have now to uh, maybe change this place first and say one and then we say square footing. Okay, so we want this to be 1.8 by 1.8, so we'll just uh, try to increase this to 1.8 by 1.8. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, 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 okay. Use this back. Okay, now, now check your point and check. This must be okay, 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 and this must be at okay, and this checking must be at okay, and this also this spacing must be at okay. So we click on okay and click on okay. Now again, right now we go to to design for the last combined footing. Select the two footing, right click and, and click on combine selected foot column or walls for shared foundation design. So click, click on that, yes, and then I click and say insert part base. Okay, we are almost at the end of this tutorial for now. So we click on calculate and then we click on square footing. And then we have to just um, increase, remove, make this as one and click try to, to increase this to 1.8 because that's what we want to use as a uniform. Um, uh, footing so we have that and main thing is to check for this place this must be okay this must be okay and this must be okay and this space must be more than 100 millimeter before you cannot say it is okay so click on okay so with this now we have come to the end of our foundation design you can see right now so let's go to our um, 3d view to see what we have just got so you cannot see what we have gotten that we have successfully designed for this um combined footing you can see right here so this is how to design a combined footing using Prota structure software you can see it right here okay so right now the next thing right now we'll do right now is to now export this foundation detail into AutoCAD to begin our um, to now begin our proper detailing for foundation um, drawing. Why right? that will be done on this place? We are click on load export, but this will be on our next video, which I will show you how to export um, how to export your design details to um, other softwares like AutoCAD and other powerful softwares, which I also use for which I also use for um, drawing and also for drafting. So I will say that you should subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and then watch out for the next video. I will say thank you for joining me for this tutorial and also God bless you. Okay, so let's watch out for the next video and thank you.